All right, this is a quick video to show you how to put a blend for web player inside an iframe on a website. I'm just going to refresh this so you can see kind of how it loads. And if you come to williamwelker.com slash b4w slash iframe, you can see this. I'll put a link to that in the description. And the way this works is I have the original export from Blender, and I'll open that so you can see what it looks like. And so this is just your standard HTML export from Blender. And what we have done is gone ahead and drawn that into a frame on this page here. And we will look at the code for that. And it's fairly simple. So I put the body background color to match the color that I, I did in Blender. But here is the frame code right here. And that is the tag that brings in the iframe. And so you can see right here, we reference the w.html, which was the direct export from Blender. And you can use uh, measurements in pixels, or you can use measurements in percentage to position your frame. Now, one thing I also did in this, if you notice, this button is awful, you know, it's almost like a watermark now. And I did that just to make it blend a little better. So we still have it there and it's still functional. But the way I did that, and I, I in case you forget this after watching it, I, I did put the instructions right here how I did that. But what I did is in the original export um, from Blender, it's a whole bunch of code in there and it is sort of obfuscated, but you can make some changes to it. So I am looking at this in Dreamweaver. Dreamweaver has the ability to sort of, um, you can, hover over a bit of code and it will give you a preview. So the way this works is the image is encoded directly into the HTML and it, it's done with this data.image PNG. So um, all this code is the information for, for that image right there. And so what I've done is if you do a search for opened button I hit control F in most, any text editor, this should work on. I'm gonna do a control find and then uh, open button, find next. And it's right here. And you can see right here the opacity. Uh, it was set at one and I changed it to 0 0.02 just to make it more like a watermark and make it blend in a little better. And that gives you also an, a little bit of a insight into how these exported HTMLs work. Um, there is a ton of code here and it's um, not something you would want to just do a lot of work trying to edit, but you can make some minor changes like that if you want to. And so I will include a link to this in the description as well as um, you might uh, go ahead and, and if you're a little bit new to HTML and you, you don't know a whole lot about iframes, you can go ahead and uh, pull up some videos on iframes in general. It's not really that complicated, but it's good to know about.